This video will explain the automatic inflation, deflation, rearm, and repack of the Onyx AM24 and AM24 Deluxe inflatable life jackets. This life jacket has a manual automatic inflation mechanism, a red indicator showing that the PFD is not ready for use, an inflated chamber, an oral inflation tube that can also be used to inflate the life jacket, and a protective fabric cover. First thing we need to do is remove the discharged CO2 cylinder. This is done by simply turning the CO2 cartridge counterclockwise until it's free from the inflator mechanism. Notice the hole on the bottom of the CO2 cylinder showing that it has been discharged. Discard the cylinder. Next, we need to deflate the inflated chamber. To do this, remove the cap from the oral inflation tube, turn over, and depress the protrusion of the cap into the valve inside the tube. With one hand depressing the valve and the oral tube, press the air out of the chamber. Move the air over to the side of the oral tube. Repeat until all the air is out of the chamber. Do not wring or twist the chamber when deflating. Replace the cap on the oral inflation tube. With all the air out of the chamber, I can now rearm the mechanism. Because this life jacket was inflated automatically, you still have the green indicator clip present on the mechanism. This is because the jerk to inflate handle was not pulled to inflate the life jacket. But we see that the mechanism does have a red indicator here in the clear cap. This should tell you that this life jacket is not ready to be used. I can now repack the life jacket so it'll be ready to wear. First, remove the used bobbin. To do this, unscrew the clear cap by turning counterclockwise and remove the yellow bobbin from the cap or the housing. Discard the old bobbin. Make sure there is no moisture in the mechanism housing. Inspect the date on the new bobbin. It should not be over three years from today's date. Align the slots on the bobbin with the ridges on the inside of the threaded housing. The bobbin will slide in easily if installed correctly. Install the clear cap until it meets the housing shoulders. Check that there is no gap between the clear cap and the shoulders of the housing. Note the green indicator that shows the bobbin has been installed properly. Now, install the green indicator clip onto the side of the mechanism. With the green indicator clip in place, I will install the CO2 cylinder from the rearm kit. First, check the bottom of the CO2 cylinder and make sure there are no scratches or holes. The cylinder has a half inch thread. Simply line up the threads of the cylinder with the threads of the inflator mechanism and turn the cylinder clockwise. Secure firmly by hand. Before going out in the water, you should always check the green indicator clip and the green indicator at the bobbin. Now with the inflation mechanism rearmed, we can repack the life jacket. Onyx inflatable life jackets feature a reliable guide that helps place the jerk to inflate handle. Make sure the jerk to inflate handle is placed below the chamber. Using the fold lines printed on the chamber, fold the edge of the yellow inflatable chamber under. The front comes over. Now match the hook and loop on the side of the cover. Press to secure the hook and loop closure. Using the fold lines, fold the other side of the chamber under. Fold the front over match and secure the hook and loop closure. Using the fold lines on the upper part of the chamber, 
fold the chamber under so it is inside the cover. Mash and secure the hook and loop. Make sure that the jerk to inflate handle is below the life jacket. Now you're ready to get back out on the water.